Hey guys, Shaper1000 here. We're going to change this EVAP solenoid for my niece. I'm going to take this one off so she can take it in and match it up. So, hang on, because I'm going to show you how to take this off of here. Okay guys, I hope you guys can see this okay, but the first thing we're going to do is unplug the wires right here. You just grab that clip. Um, I don't think you can see real well. Hang on. Move it over here. There's a clip right, right up here. And you just pull it to you and push down. And it'll pop that clip out of there. And there's your wires. Now we gotta unhook this line here. It goes up in to the charcoal canister, I do believe. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, there's one bolt, there should be one bolt on top of this thing. This is a 2003 Chevy Suburban. And it feels like a 13 millimeter. I'm up on top here. And I got my little ratchet wrench. Now, some sometimes you can you can slide them right out of that rubber piece there. But I'm going to take this down, hoping it'll be easier to unhook that line because you got to push in on it, squeeze it, and pull it out. But we'll get to that here in a second. So. Man, I was on the phone with O'Reilly's. This dude did not have a clue. There's three of them working there. None of them had to uh, had an idea of what it was. He kept saying EGR valve. He kept saying fuel pressure regulator. How do you get that from emission? You know, from EVAP. And he's trying to... Okay, well, there's the air conditioner. I said, get the hell out of there. Get into emissions. Then he says, ignitions? You're... Emissions sounds like ignitions to me. I said, oh, so I'm, I'm the motherfucker that's wrong. So I went in on the computer. Uh, they put me on hold, so I went in on my computer. And I brought up a part number with a picture and everything. He says, well, sir, I don't know what you're trying to explain to me, but we don't have it. I said, won't you check his fucking part number before you tell me that? And, uh, oh, well, oh, yeah. I said, how come I can look up a part number quicker than you can? Well, it's just the way you're talking. I don't, I don't, you know, don't fucking blame me, dude, because you can't hear or you don't understand or you can't comprehend and all that shit. Okay, so spin this around here. And this is how this, see, this will slide right out of here but I want to get this off of here first so in order to do that we're, we got to push in and pull out and I don't know how I'm going to do that with holding the light without it falling on my face um, let me see here I don't know how well that's that helps but let me see. Got that shield in the way and then the differential's in the way on this side, so. Alright. So I'm going to pop that out of there and I'll show you how it goes in and out here as soon as I get it out. I gotta use both hands. Okay guys, I know it's kind of hard for you to see, but this right here, let's see if I can get this stand up here for you. Because it, it's kind of a pain in the ass. If you got weak hands like mine, you may have to use 
have a screwdriver to help you, which that's what exactly what I did. But right here on this plug right there, what you do is you push this on, okay? It'll go a little farther, like a quarter of an inch, and then you squeeze these together, and it'll pull out. Okay, and what that does is it clips on to here. Okay, so I don't know if the new one's got the, the bracket or not, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to take in the garage, and we're going to go ahead and pull this bracket off just in case. Okay guys, here we got it. I just got it in a vise for you. Like I said, I don't know if it comes with this or not, but there's a little tab that's kind of bent down. Now you can bend it out and just make sure you bend it back down once you put the new one in, but I think if I kind of push down back here on the back and wiggle it, there it is. It'll slide right out of there. And then the new one will slide right in. So, but like I said, you could almost spilt my beer you could try to bend that out but just bend it in a little bit before you put the new one back on it's going to go like this um, that's a that of course is where that rubber line or that plastic line goes to it's just going to push right back on and right in there is where that plug goes there's only one way that can go you can't mess it up and of course this is that's just that so there you go now you can test these too, but I'm like 100% positive that it is this because it's this is the code that, that keeps coming back. And then we'll have to clear the codes and we'll let her drive it and see how it runs. So there she be. So now we're going to have her, when she stops by, I'm going to give this to her. I doubt if I'm going to get with her because that dude really ticked me off. And I don't want to make an ass out of myself today, so. Filming. Sorry. That's what you said to me that one day. Excuse me, filming. Getting me water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. We'll be back with you. Okay, guys, we got the new part. I checked it out against the old one, and it is the part. So, I'm just going to stick this back on here and... It'll just clip right into place, just like that. Let's go put it on the truck. Okay, guys, so here we go. We're going to put this up in here. It's going to go like this. And we're just going to take... We're going to take this and push it straight in. It'll clip in. And sometimes it takes a little bit of pushing, but it will go. If you can pull it back out, it's not in all the way. So go ahead and give it a shove. There it goes. You'll hear it click and you'll feel it click. Okay. Now let's go ahead. We're going to hook our wires up. They're going to go right up in here. And it clips in like that. Now all we got to do is put our bolt in. This is a 13 millimeter head. Not sure what the threads are. Probably 10. No, probably 8. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this bolt in here and then we're going to go up top, clear the codes, and make sure they stay gone. Alright, guys, we're back. We're going to clear these codes again. I'm going to turn the key on. Want to hit read? There it is. P0449. That's the only code. That's what we just replaced. So let's go ahead and clear it. Erase. Yes. And done. Now let's make sure it went away. No codes. All right. Now, I'm going to shut this key off. I'm going to start it up. Now, 
no light. So I'm going to have her take it for a drive, let it get warmed up, bring it back, and we'll see if that took care of it. All right, so they're getting ready to leave. Uh, her friend brought her out. That's my other niece's car. And uh, her friend, he said he ain't driving that Ford, so she's got to drive the Ford. And he's going to drive her Chevy back in to where they're going, so. <laughs> yeah. So she took it for a drive. Seems to be doing fine. And uh, everything's cool. No more codes. Trucks are running excellent. Yeah, I think sounds good. Yeah. I'd like to hear that with some headers and dual pipes. She ain't afraid to hit it, man. She took it for a drive. She was gone. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, guys. So that's how you change the evap uh, solenoid yep. on an 03 mm -hmm. Chevrolet Suburban. I worked hard on that today. The LT. Yeah. You, yeah. Sure. Well, I washed my hands. 5.3 liter. Mm -hmm. yeah, it seems okay. Hopefully she'll be fine for a while. Yeah, she'll be alright for a while now. Yeah. So. She should be happy. A little tool right there. Mm, this little thing. Yep, right the Actron OBD2. Alright, I'm going to get off here. I got some editing to do. Yep, you do. On two videos. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Monkey says bye, y'all. And I'm gonna say, hey, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Am I zoomed in or something here? Whoa. I was zoomed in. You didn't tell me. Why know. didn't you guys say something? Okay, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye, bye. Take care and be cool.